Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. DIDO is developing various UAV in medium altitude long endurance or male categories such as Tapas and SR UAV. However, it had recently started working on high altitude long endurance or hail UAVs. The hail UAVs have very high flying altitude where the air is very thin and temperature is very low. DIDO has come up with its hail UAV design to cover the full spectrum of I-STAR. The Aeronautical Design Establishment ADE of DRDO has jointly completed the feasibility studies with HL in line with the armed forces. The hail UAV will have maximum all of weight of 4200 to 5200 kg and will be equipped with 940 horsepower turboprop engine. It will have payload in excess of 2000 kg and flight altitude in excess of 35,000 feet. It will have speed of 350 km per hour and endurance of more than 25 hours. It will feature integrated net-centric operations. As per reports from the Financial Express, DIDO's Hail UAV has completed 65 flights and demonstrated flight endurance of 10 hours. It has automatic takeoff and landing, synthetic aperture radar and store carrying capability. The development of Hail UAV will take some time and India is in desperate need of these UAVs not only to monitor border with China and Pakistan, but also to maintain surveillance over Indian Ocean region. The 2 MQ-9 leased by Indian Navy has already proven its capability than value for money. Since its induction, these RPA has proven to be a great asset. Due to their extremely high endurance, these drones provide real-time domain awareness from eastern board of Africa and Gulf of Aden to Sunda Straits in Indonesia and beyond. Amid the recent reports of suspicious infrastructure upgrades at Myanmar's Koko Island, the Navy's MQ-9 drone has been seen conducting ISR missions in the nearby areas of the island. The recent report reveals that the Indian Armed Forces have pruned the requirement of 30 MQ-9 RPS to 18, with each services getting 6 RPS. The deal to procure 18 MQ-9 RPA is going to be of $1.8 billion or 14,824 crore rupees as per News 9 report, which is going to be announced during PM Modi's upcoming US visit in June. A separate 800 crore rupees agreement is also there to lease two MQ-9 Sea Guardian drones for Indian Navy, which will also be announced then. The 18 MQ-9B, also known as Predator, is going to be the armed version. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.